Okay, so now it's time for us to create the solar system project. And to get started with this, the first thing we need to do is to create a new Unity project. To do that, I'm going to choose File and New Project. And from this Project Wizard dialog, I'm going to give the project the name of Project Solar System. Notice that I'm prefixing the name with the word Project to indicate the kind of thing that it is. In the Import Packages list, I'm going to ensure that nothing there is checked and then choose the Create button. And Unity whizzes away and creates a blank new project. And the first thing I'm going to do with the new project is to save the existing scene. So I'm going to press Control S on the keyboard and here we have our new scene. I'm going to name this scene Scene Solar System. And notice again that I'm prefixing the asset type with the name, in this case Scene. I'm going to choose Save and there we have the beginnings of our solar system project. Now next up what I'm going to do is import the assets that we are going to use. So I'm going to bring in a Windows Explorer window and we can see that we have three assets here. We have two texture files and one mesh file which is a planet mesh. I'm going to highlight all three assets and drag and drop them into the project panel to import them into the project. Unity thinks about that for a while, calculates what it's going to do and then it imports them all and performs any automatic processing that it needs to do. You'll notice it's created a materials folder here but we have successfully imported the star texture, the planet texture and the planet mesh. So we have all the assets that we've imported to our project now and we're ready to continue. So before we continue let's get into the habit of asset management. To do that I'm going to create some additional folders and organize my assets. So I'm going to right click in the project panel, choose create and choose folder, name this meshes, right click again, choose create, choose folder, name this textures and one more, right click, choose create and choose folder and name this scenes. I'm going to drag and drop my scene into the scenes folder, drag and drop my two textures into the textures folder and drag and drop my mesh into the mesh folder. And there now we have organized our assets into the different folders and uh, we're good to go. Now let's create a skybox material for our scene. To do that I'm going to open up the materials folder, right click in the project panel, choose create and select material. And I'm going to name this material skybox matte. Now in the shader type here we need to change this. Right now it's diffuse. I'm going to click that and choose render FX and choose skybox and you can see that we've got a number of different swatches that we need to fill in to create this material. So I'm going to begin with the top swatch and I'm going to click the select button to display the texture picker and from this picker I'm going to choose the star texture and that loads it into the swatch here. Now if I click this star texture once you can see it is selected automatically for me in the project panel and I can use this as a kind of quick shortcut to assign the other swatches the same material. I'm going to drag and drop that to this swatch, drag and drop that to this one, then to this one and I'm going to fill in all of these swatches and when I fill them all in you can see in the preview panel that we see a preview of our skybox texture here. So this is the complete texture and it's looking pretty good. But I want to assign this now to our scene that we have in front of us and to do that I'm going to select edit and render settings from the menu here and over here you can see we have an option for skybox material I'm going to click in that swatch here on the um, selection here and choose skybox map from the list and as I do this you will notice that nothing in the viewport changes here but there is an option up here which says toggle skybox fog and lens flare effects I can click on this to enable and disable the skybox to see it in my scene so if I enable the skybox now I can see it active in the scene viewport and this is looking pretty good. So let's start this solar system by positioning the sun. Now to do that I'm going to open the meshes folder, drag and drop the planet mesh so that we can see it here and in the transform component I'm going to set this to the world origin like so. I'm going to set its scale to 2, 2 and 2 to make it twice the size and I'm going to give this the name of object sun like so 
And there we have now positioned a sun in our solar system. I'm going to press F on the keyboard to frame this. And we're going to be building up our solar system around this object. Okay, so let's begin to add other planets around the sun. To do that, I'm just going to drag and drop these planets in and around the sun here. So I'm going to position a planet about there-ish, and I'm going to name this Object Planet, and uh, duplicate this one, press Control D on the keyboard, let's just move this outwards a little bit, and scale it down somewhat. Let's press this one again, Control D, just move this one out a little bit, put a planet over here, let's just lower it down a bit. Um, let's raise this one up, make it uh, quite large in scale, like so. Control D on this planet again, and just move a planet over here. Let's just shrink it a little bit and uh, lower it also. So here we have a group of planets in our solar system. Um, this planet perhaps is a bit too far away, so let's just move this up, put it in orbit, and uh, there we have it. So we've created a basic solar system, but of course our planets right now, they don't have materials. Let's take care of that. So let's create a material for our first planet. I'm going to open up the materials folder, right click and choose create and material. And I'm going to call this Matt planet like so. And we've got a different range of shader types that we can choose. I'm going to leave it at diffuse and in the texture swatch I'm going to select our planet texture here which is a grayscale texture. You can see that in the preview pane. Let's give this a reddish browny hue to simulate a sort of Mars looking colour perhaps, so a dark reddish hue here. I'm going to select something like this and I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it like so. And now I can just choose which planet to assign this material to. I'm going to use this larger one here, so drag and drop map planet onto that planet there and straight away we've got a planet in our solar system with a material. Now to assign materials to the remaining planets, we can use a duplicate method. So let's say we want to assign this planet here a bluish material. I'm going to select the map planet texture, press Ctrl D on the keyboard. I'm going to name this, well, map planet 1, but let's name this something else. Let's name this map planet and blue. And I'm going to change the colour here from the reddish colour to a bluey, tealy kind of colour. Uh, yeah, something a bit like that maybe. And then I'm going to drag and drop that onto the planet here. So we've got another one here. Now let's uh, assign a, a yellow material. So again, I'm going to select one of the materials we created for the planet. Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to name this one Planet Yellow. And select a sort of a, a yellowy shade here for this planet. And again, drag and drop that onto this planet here. And finally, for this planet, I think we can go for maybe a kind of a, a purpley colour. So let's just rename this to Planet Purple. And I'm going to select a sort of purpley shade for this planet. Slightly uh, supernatural colour. There we have assigned uh, material to each of our planets a completely different colour. So now we need to create a self-illumination material for our Sun object in the solar system. To do this I'm going to right click and choose create and choose material and for the shader type I'm going to choose self-illumination and diffuse, a self-illumination diffuse material. I'm going to name this material Matte Sun and for the colour I'm going to select a sort of a burning yellow colour which is suitable for a sun object. So say this sort of yellow colour that you can see in the preview pane here. And I'm going to drag and drop that onto the sun object. So now we have a bright sun object surrounded by planets. Now these planets are a little dull. Uh, we're going to be adding a light to the scene to illuminate them. We'll see how to do that shortly. So let's now try to simulate the effect of the sunlight by using lights in the scene. So I'm going to start by creating a point light. To do that I'm going to choose Game Object, Create Other and select Point Light from the menu. And this point light I'm going to be centering at the origin to center it on the sun in the scene. Now right now the planets are still very dark and to change that I'm going to increase the radius of the point light outwards so that uh, we increase its range. 
and I'm also going to increase the intensity of the light to around about 5 like so and now the planets are looking much brighter and much clearer. I am also going to insert a directional light in the scene to simulate some indirect illumination and to do that I'm going to choose game object create other and directional light and I just have to just move this off to the side rotate this around a little and uh, rotate it a little this way and all of a sudden we're beginning to illuminate the other area of those planets there and things already are looking much better I'm going to maximize the viewport with the spacebar press and you can see that things are looking much better here the planets are much clearer in our solar system so that's how we can go about simulating sunlight now let's set the planets in motion spinning on their own axis to uh, get started, let's get a good view of these planets. So I'm going to position the viewport camera around about here so that we can see our planets. And I'm going to align the main camera of the scene to this viewport. So I'm going to select the main camera and choose Game Object Align with View or press Control Shift F. This, as you can see from the camera preview, will align the camera to the viewport. When I press the play button on the toolbar now, you will see the planets here in the scene from the perspective of the scene viewport camera. So things are looking good, but the planets still are not spinning. To fix that, I can select the planet mesh, move over here to the rig tab, change the animation type from none to legacy, and choose apply. The animation type might be generic or humanoid. Whichever one it is, change it from that to legacy. I'm going to switch to the animations panel, and you can see the take 001 clip here. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to, for the wrap mode, enable loop if it is not already enabled. And here on the timeline, I'm going to make sure this end slider is dragged right to the very end here. I'm going to click apply. And now when I click the play button on the toolbar, you can see all of the planets spinning on their own axis. So that's looking splendid. Let's move on. Let's have the planets of our solar system orbit around the sun. If I press play, you will see that they all spin on their own axis, but the planets do not actually orbit the sun as they would do in a real solar system. So to do this, we're going to be using parenting. So I'm going to select all the planets in the solar system, drag and drop them under the sun here. Make sure I select the sun and you will see by pressing the rotate tool that the center, the pivot of rotation for the sun is not at its center and that we do want it to be. So I'm going to select the sun and choose the center point here. Click on this to use the pivot, the center of the sun object. And now as I rotate this, you will see that the planets are rotating around the sun. So let's press play on the toolbar. And now you will see the planets are all rotating on their own axis and they are rotating around the sun as well. And that is exactly the behavior we want. Things are looking very good.